Travel hitting its holiday peak. More Americans traveling by plane ahead of the Christmas weekend. This is Airlines. Welcome back furloughed workers and wait for some help from the new relief deal. Grady Trimble is on the ground at Chicago's O'Hare Airport with more. Grady. The Chicago Jackie, good morning and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, the vast majority of Americans, though, three quarters of them, are expected to heed the warnings of public health officials and stay home this holiday season. But it's been very busy here at O'Hare this morning, as well as at airports across the country. More people are expected to get on a plane this holiday season than have since the pandemic started. Here are the numbers from AAA. The top mode of transport will be the car. People feel a little more comfortable in that. More than 81 million Americans will drive this holiday season. Just about 3 million of them will get on a plane. That is far fewer than a normal Christmas. And even though not as many people will be flying this year, if you are, something you might want to pay attention to is that planes will be fuller than they usually are. Airlines have cut so many flights because of the pandemic, and most are no longer keeping those middle seats open. 2020 expected to go down as the worst year for commercial aviation, financially anyway. They're hoping the president signs that relief deal you mentioned because it includes $15 billion for the airlines. United and American have both laid off a combined 32,000 employees, American laying off the most at 19,000. So they say this relief deal would allow them to rehire thousands and thousands of those employees. But as you know, Jackie, that deal is up in the air, no pun intended. The airlines were hoping to get those paychecks out to those rehired employees today. Now that that may not happen as we wait to see what happens in Washington. Jackie? Grady Trimble, thank you. Great reporting as always, and Merry Christmas to you, sir.